hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm bumi adejuma by name as you all know and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to edit picture using mobile application some mobile applications and i'll be using two mobile editing app one is airbrush and the other one is facetune 2. most of this application comes with basic free tools that you can make use of why some other you have to subscribe to them so the first app i'll be using is the airbrush app and i'll be editing one of the pictures from the look i created in my last video so the first thing you need to do is to zoom in to get a clearer view of what you want to edit and i'll be scrolling through the tools that are free you could basically achieve anything with this basic um tools so i clicked on the smooth button it has the light and the heavy but i'll be using the light because i don't really have um any issue with my skin so you just do that all over the face lightly with the applicator and zoom in to see other um details on the face so i'm just doing that and for my fine line and um, my smile line i will be using the heavy button just to smoothen that out but it depends if you want to if you don't want to find then you go out and smoothen it out slightly again with the applicator The next thing I'll be doing is to touch my skin tone. Um, I, I noticed the picture appeared a little bit lighter, so I'll just tone up a little bit. I'll be doing that all over my face. And I'll increase. I increase to see places where I didn't touch. Yes, so you can reduce to see the difference and just pick the number you prefer i think i i'll be going with number two because it's not too much it's just in between With this app you can actually change the color of your hair but as you can see i didn't activate it i can't make use of it because i didn't subscribe to it so if you want to unlock other features you have to subscribe to the application the next thing i'll be doing is to enhance my color balance and i'll just be doing by, by increasing the contract you can increase you can decrease but you don't want to use too much so i'll be stopping at six or eight then i sharpen my picture to make the picture look sharp then i increase my saturation just a little by six and i'll have to highlight my picture also by two or three then i increase the shadow because i don't want my pictures to be looking dull and i added a little um i reduced the brightness sorry and added temperature to it with this app you have to practice more to know what exactly works for you most people edit in different from and this is how the picture look like so that's it normally you you might want to um blur the background if you knew, if you think the background is distracting and you can use prism or anything else you can crop change the size of the picture 
flip the picture to see which um sides you prefer i prefer the right hand side though usually i use the magic um button because it already presets what i want so i just do that to make the editing faster and that's just that about about it so this is how the magic look like but I, most times the skin um, tone is always too bright like it's always too much rather so i have to change and most times i just switch off the button if i if the picture i took came out nicely And that's just that you can reduce the chin, the lip size, the nose size, tint whatever you want to tint, increase the eyes, slim the face, whiten the eyes, and whiten the teeth as well. So it's just it has a variety of of tools you could use in editing your picture, of which the major um, ones are, are logged, so you have to subscribe to it so that's just that about the first picture the second picture is uh, is a um, picture i took up from um an editing challenge i didn't i didn't do the makeup and i did not take the picture and the picture it was shot by wally visuals so this is practically a picture to, taken with a digital camera so the thing i'm doing here is to smoothen but i just went in directly using the magic button since i already um set it to what i really want i'm increasing as you can see i'm increasing and decreasing the smoothness and everything else i'm going to fix the skin tone to what i want it to be so it's your choice you can see that's lighter this is dark and the other button is darker so i'll just take the darker one because i wanted this warm feel so the next thing i'll be doing is to remove her acne you can see she has um a spot on her face so i'll just remove that gently you don't want to use too much because it will mess up um your picture eventually so you just take a pinch and that's all then you zoom out so i'll be smoothing the areas where um i feel like i didn't really um smoothing out and i'm just doing that basically our uh, fine lines i'm smoothing that out as well with the heavy button remember just for those specific places one thing you should know is before you edit your pictures your the makeup has to be flawless or at least perfect you don't want to edit too much i'm smoothing our skin out though and that is that about this part something above our eyebrows and beneath you really want to pay attention to the details on the face repeating same process and i'm just zooming in zooming out and checking where i need to correct and that's it so for the contrast i'll be adding um about four i'll be increasing it then i have to sharpen the 
picture as well 200 or 50 or just anything that works for you then the saturation i increase the saturation to five then i highlighted the picture by three I reduce the shadow I mean I increase the shadow right that's by three then the brightness as well then the temperature by four you don't want to add so much I just do between um, minus six and plus six and that's it you can't darken anything here because you can't you can't blow the background because the background is already black and you can have vintage anything that you just feel works for you nothing else and we'll save your picture so the next app is the, using the face tune tool and this app ha it comes with a whole lot of varieties you can increase the eyebrows reduce the size of the lip and up so it is not composed it's just um to intensify the look i use it just to intensify the eye look the eyeshadow and all so the first thing i'll be doing is to whiten the lip just to give it that little white light um balance and i'll increase this to 51 you can increase and decrease just depending and i'll just do that to 51 then the next tool i'll be using is the detailed tool and I'll be using that for the eyes. I just want to intensify the eyeshadow, especially the tear dots um, area. The tear dot area is the part that has the silver um, eyeshadow. And I'll be doing on that on both sides. And I'll just um, increase it to about 55 as well. I don't do too much because when you do too much it becomes unrealistic then the next tool i'll be using is the vibrance you can use this all over the face or just specific areas i'll be using this to um pop out the contact lens color and as well as the waterline area and you would want to do this lightly you don't want to um do too much of of that anyway i'll be doing the same thing on the other eyes as well and that's just it you can see the eyes are popping more than the previous um, picture so that's just it for the vibrance um most people like to do that all over but i think i'll just be doing a little so you all can see um the difference i'll leave it at 18 and that's fine like I said, you can do anything that you feel you're comfortable with. And it's not compulsory anyway. You can change the background if you want and all. So I'll be cropping the picture to the size I want it to be. You can defocus 
more like blurring but i don't need to blow anything here and that's just it and we are done so guys the next thing i'll be doing is to um place both pictures side by side so you guys can see the difference from the unedited to the edited and i'll be doing that using the photo grid application you can as well use it to edit but i don't use it to edit yes so before we go um always ensure that you check your camera program setting so as to get um clearer pictures or video like i changed my camera settings from 1080 by 60 p by 60 to 4k and the difference was really really clear 4k gives you a creepy clear um view of both your videos and your pictures so if you don't have the option of 4k you can as well leave it at um 1080p by 60. so guys this is it this is what it looks like i'm just adjusting um the pictures to fit the frame and that's it i hope you learned something today thanks for watching bye